Hi, my name is Tori. I'm an Everybody Active Coach for North Down and Ardsborough Council, funded by Sport NI. My job is to share special yoga. We've all been washing our hands, social distancing and staying at home to save lives. But while you are at home, we want you to feel less isolated and anxious too. So here is a short inclusive yoga session that will boost your mood and your immunity and help you feel better. Welcome to Mat Yoga. For this practice you'll need a yoga mat. If you don't have a mat at home you can use a towel or a blanket um, for comfort. If you find it uncomfortable sitting on the ground with your legs crossed, please feel free to use a rolled up blanket or a folded cushion and you can just use that as a support to raise your hips higher and help you find comfort in your lower back and legs and also to release any pressure on the legs. So take a moment to work out what feels best for your body. We recommend bare feet, especially if you're on a hard floor to prevent any slip. This practice um, is an invitation to open and stretch your body. Please do what is right for you today. Listen and honour your body and um, the stretches will be quite gentle to help you feel better. So let's get ready to start. I'm just going to pop this off to one side. Sit cross-legged. Feel your back get nice and tall. So let's start with reaching our arms up. So, Feel your hips and your legs nice and heavy on the ground and reach your arms up towards the sky and feel a stretch in the sides of your body and up into the arms and the fingertips. Notice if the ears and the shoulders are really close together and so keeping a stretch in the side of the body let your shoulders come back onto the back so you feel space between the ears and the shoulders and still have that lovely stretch. Beautiful. We're going to put the right hand down onto the mat, keep the left arm up, stretch it up really, really tall, and then we're going to keep the hips level on the ground and let your hand come over your head and across your body. So for your right hand on the mat, your right elbow might want to come down towards the mat a little bit, so this space between the right ear and the right shoulder. And let's take two nice deep breaths. Noticing how it opens up the side of the body. Lovely. And then reach up really tall as you bring your arm back up. Bring your left hand down. And then take a moment to notice your body on the two sides. Maybe they feel different. Maybe already you can feel you've had a stretch on your left side. Maybe it feels slightly longer. So let's balance the body. Let's bring the right arm up. Reach up really, really tall, keep the right hips on the ground, bring the left hand out to the side and then stretch over the head. Noticing the elbow on the left arm, just coming down towards the mat a little bit, creating space with the ear and feeling a stretch all the way from the right fingertips, all the way down the arm and the side of the body into the hip. And again, let's take two nice deep breaths into the side of the body. Good job, reach up towards the sky and let your arm come back. Good, you can rest your hands on your knees if that's comfortable and bring your shoulders up and let's do some nice circles with the shoulders. So we keep a lot of worries and tension in our shoulders. So making some movements for those muscles to open, relax, let your shoulders go the other way. Make your circles go backwards. Just opening up. And bring your hands up and let's rotate our wrists, making circles one way, like we're conducting an orchestra. Change direction. Good job. Might feel some clicks, some little feelings as we're starting to open up our joints. And then turn your palms up to the ceiling, wiggle your fingers and bring your fingers onto your shoulders, so bend your elbows. 
and we're going to draw some slow big circles with our elbows. So you might feel some clicks here as well as we start to open the body. So take a big breath in as we come up and breathe out as we come down. One more time this way, big breath in, big slow circle and coming down. Okay, let's make our circles go backwards and see how this feels. Can you breathe in as we come up? Breathing out as we come down. Good. Big circle, one last circle. Lovely, and let your hands come down. Okay, we're going to come over onto our hands and knees. So put your hands on the ground. So your hands are directly under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Let your fingers be nice and wide like starfish. Tops of your feet relax on the ground. The top of your head points forward to the wall in front of you. And this is a yoga table position. And now we're going to move into yoga cow. So what's going to happen is your head looks up towards the ceiling. Feel your shoulders come close together and let your belly drop down towards the floor a little bit and your bottom stick up. So your lower back drops. And this is yoga cow. We're going to now move into yoga cat. So let your tailbone tuck under, let your tummy button come up towards the ceiling and your head come down and relax. So you're looking towards your tummy button, looking through your legs and feel your shoulders get far apart. This is a yoga cat position. So let's move back into yoga cow. So let your tummy come down, your shoulders close together, your head look up towards the ceiling. And yoga cat, tummy comes up, shoulders nice and wide and head comes down. Let's do one more time each way. So tummy comes down, shoulders together, head up into yoga cow. And yoga cat stretching down with your head and reaching up with your tummy. So make sure you're pushing through your fingers. Push through all of your fingers and thumbs. Make your arms nice and strong so they're reaching up as well. And then come back to table. So nice straight back, the top of the head pointing towards the wall in front of you. And we're going to do a balance. So think where your tummy button is and imagine there's a string between your tummy button and your spine and let them get nice and close together. Bring your right arm forward and your left leg back, reaching towards each wall. So seeing how long you can make your arm and your leg. You might feel a little bit wobbly. So focus on your belly and your breath to help you balance. One more breath and then bring your hand and your knee back down. Rebalance yourself. And let's try the other side. So our balance will be different on both sides of your body. So notice, is it the same? Is it more challenging or is it easier on this side? So reaching forward with your right, forward with your left hand and back with your right leg. Thinking about your belly for balance and finding your breath. Is your breath short or can you keep it nice and big and deep breath? One more breath and then bring your hand back down and bring your knee down. Good. Now you can let your knees go a little bit wider if you want to. You're going to bring your heel and your bottom together. So reaching back. And if your head comes down onto the mat, you can let your head relax down. If your head doesn't reach the mat, you can use your hands and make little fists and make little blocks for your head to relax down. So decide what feels right for your body and then notice your breath. So you can have your, if your head is on the ground, you might want to bring your hands either side of your feet and help your shoulders relax. So make a decision that feels good for your body so you can start to relax and let go in this position. And then imagine someone has their hand on your back between your shoulders. Can you breathe into that space? So our breath isn't, isn't just in the front of our body, it's in the sides and the back. It goes all the way around. So can you feel your breath all the way around your body? Can
Can you feel the temperature of your breath on your face? Can you hear your breath? Can you feel your breath against your legs? Good job. One more breath. And then come back up into table. So bring your hands under your shoulders again. Good. Let your knees be parallel. So have them back nice and level if you've had them a little bit wider. Then you're going to tuck your toes under. You can bring your hands one handprint forward if that feels good for you. And we're going to come up into down dog. So we're going to do it nice and slowly. The first thing we do, we're going to lift our knees off the yoga mat. You're going to keep your knees bent and now you're going to lift your bottom up and back. So you feel that stretch between your fingertips and your hips. The way we had felt a stretch whenever we had done a side stretch. So the whole way up the body, right up into the hips. And then you can let your right heel come down and straighten your right leg a little bit. You'll feel a stretch on the back of the right leg. And then bend your right knee again and try with the left leg. Right, you're walking on the spot. So let's try a little bit each side, just slowly stretching out each leg. So it doesn't matter if your heels get to the ground or not. You're just noticing, letting your body have a conversation with you and you're doing what feels right and healthy for your body now. Helping your muscles to get a nice stretch. Then bend both knees together. Keep your bottom up nice and high. Push your fingers down into the mat and then try bringing both heels back at the same time and notice what happens. Take a nice deep breath. Good job. And then start to walk your feet up towards your hands. So we're coming into a forward fold. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to. You can take hold of your elbows. Let your head relax. Let your whole body relax and so let your tummy rest onto your thighs, bending your knees as deeply as you need to. And then keeping your knees bent, we're going to come up to stand. So stand at the top of your mat and have your feet grounded with your ankles under your hips and your shoulders above your hips. So you're standing nice and tall. Number one, bring your hands together at your heart. Take a nice deep breath. Number two, reach up towards the sky, taking a nice breath. Number three, bring your fingers beside your toes, bend your knees as much as you need. Number four, take a giant step back with your right foot, let the knee come down. Number five, push back so both feet are beside each other into down dog, lifting your hips up high towards the sky. Number six, come all the way down onto the mat, so knees come down, chest come down, chin come down. Number seven, push through the tops of your feet and your hips and your hands and curl up into cobra, just to your belly button. Number eight, tuck your toes under, push all the way back into down dog. Number nine, take a big step with your right foot up in between your hands, so you can let your left knee come down and bring your right foot forward. You can use your right hand to help it come up. Number 10, both feet forward into, the, into a forward fold. Number 11, reach all the way up to the sky. And number 12, hands to your heart. Good. We're going to do the same on the other side. So this time leading with the left. Round through your feet, make sure you're standing nice and tall in mountain pose. Number 1, hands together at your heart. Number two, reach up towards the sky. Number three, fingers beside your toes, bend your knees as much as you need. Number four, left foot, big step back. Number five, both feet back into down dog. Number six, come all the way down onto the mat, knees come down, chest comes down, chin comes down. Untuck your toes, push through the tops of your three, your hips, your hands, come up into cobra, shoulders away from the ears, just up to the belly button. Number eight, tuck your toes, push back into down dog. Number nine, bring your left foot up in between your hands. You can let your right knee drop first if you need to. Number ten, both feet forward, folding over. 
Number 11, reach all the way up to the sky. And number 12, hands to your heart. Good. So stay at the top of your mat. Put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Close your eyes. And notice your breath. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. Let the breath come in and out through the nose. Let the breath settle. So once your breath has settled, come and sit down onto your mat and we're going to lie down. So you want to lie down the length of your mat or your blanket or towel on your back. Bring your legs close together and then bring your arms up onto the floor behind you. So you're stretching yourself as tall as you can be. Stretch, stretch, stretch through the right side, the left side, both sides together. And then you're going to bend your knees and bring them into your tummy and give yourself a hug. So we're going to do this again. So stretching your legs out, stretching your arms out, stretching yourself as tall as you can be. And then big breath out. <sighs> bring your knees into your tummy and give yourself a hug. One more time, stretching our legs and our arms out as tall as we can be, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then bending your knees into your tummy and giving yourself a nice hug. You can rock a little bit, that feels nice for your back. Notice your lower back on the floor. And then holding onto your thighs and your shins, bring your head up towards your knees and take a short balance. Give your knees a kiss if you want to. Send yourself some love. Give yourself a really big hug. And then let your head come back down. Keep your right knee in and let your left leg go nice and straight. Let your shoulders relax onto the ground. If it's not comfortable for you to hold the top of your shin, you can bring your hand in under your knee. So notice what feels good for your body. How can you make this pose work for your body? Notice your breath come in and out through your nose. And then let your hands come down. Reach your right leg up to make a footprint on the ceiling and keep it nice and straight. Slowly bring it down onto the mat. It might feel a little bit tiny, a bit longer than the left leg. So let's bring the left leg in and do the same thing. So bend the left knee in towards the chest. You can hold onto the front of the shin or you can hold in under the knee, whatever feels right for your body. And let your body relax. Let your shoulders relax onto the mat. Let your breath relax. Feel the breath just moving in your belly, in your chest. Bring your hands down, make a footprint up on the ceiling and slowly bring your legs down. Bring both knees in together. And this time we're gonna bring our arms out to the side. So if there isn't room for you to bring your arms out either side, maybe there's a sofa or something in the way, you can bend your elbows and come into cactus or goddess pose. And we're going to do a twist. So let your knees go one way. Just let them relax onto the floor. Keep your shoulders on the ground. So if your knees come too much and your shoulders come up, bring your knees up a little bit so your shoulders can relax. And let your head go the opposite way. So if your knees are to the left, then your head looks right. And just let go, start to really relax here. Notice the breath moving in the belly. Notice the side of the body that's open. Notice the arms feel heavy and relaxed. One more breath. Then bring your knees and your head up to the center. And then we're gonna go the other way. So let your knees go the other way. Make sure your shoulders relax on the ground still and then turn your head the opposite direction. And just breathe. 
So we don't need to do anything here apart from just let the body feel heavy and soft and relaxed. One more breath, and then bring the knees into the center. Let your feet come down onto the mat. Let your arms come down close to your body with the palms facing up. And let your legs come down onto your mat. So we're getting ready for relaxation or savasana pose. And this is where we're just gonna to start to lie still. Lying still, squeeze your toes and your feet in tight and relax. Squeeze your legs and your bottom in tight and relax. Squeeze your tummy and your chest in tight and relax. Squeeze your arms and your shoulders in tight and your hands and wrists and relax. Squeeze your face in tight, stretch it wide and relax. And squeeze your whole body, squeeze your legs, your arms, your head, your face, your tummy, and relax. And notice how relaxed feels in your body. And let yourself feel heavy and soft and relaxed. You can let your eyes close if that's comfortable for you. And if you want and it's comfortable, you can bring your hands to rest on your belly. And notice how your belly moves with your breath without changing or forcing it. And just let the whole body relax. As you breathe out, start to move fingers and toes. Start to move awareness back into your body. Bend your knees, let your feet come onto the floor. Keeping your eyes closed, roll over to one side. Allow your arms to help you to come up to sit. And come up and sit up on your mat, eyes closed. Rub your hands together nice and fast. Get a nice warm feeling in the palms of your hands and then place them over your eyes. And gently open your eyes into that nice warmth, slowly bringing your hands down together, your heart. And thank yourself for taking this time for your practice. Thank you for sharing yoga with me. Namaste. Thanks for joining in, and I hope you feel better. Keep joining in by using the physical activity and well-being resources at the Sport NI web pages and Facebook. So all of us at home can do sport and physical activity to stay safe and strong together and join the fight back. Bye.